Hello everyone, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. going to bring you my July book haul. It was quite massive actually. I was like getting all the books together and I was like wow I bought way too many books this month. Actually what I mean to say is I have not enough book space for that. I just redid my whole bookshelf and I bought more books to celebrate. That's how it works I guess. Anyways so let's get right into the books because there's quite a few of them. So a lot of the books that I purchased this month were from Half Price Books. It's right next to my house and they have a clearance section and most of the books in the clearance section are a dollar to two dollars and so I buy a lot of books, especially ones that I read the back of and I have no idea what this book is about. So the first two I'll show you today are a series. I think it's just the first two in the series. There are more books. It's The Waterless Sea and The Singer of All Songs. I believe this one's the first one. And these ones are by Kate Constable. And I have not heard really anything about these. They look like YA from reading the back of them. Um, and I really know very little about them. They sounded kind of YA fantasy. Um, it looks like there's an ice priestess and some fun stuff like that. So it looked good and these were each a dollar. So I was like, yeah, who doesn't need another series to read, so. The next book I picked up is The Bravest Princess by Edie Baker. She writes like kind of princess fairy tales for middle grade. So this one I have been wanting to read. It just looked really cute when I worked at, I worked at a bookstore and I used to suggest this even though I hadn't read it because it just looked awesome. Um, and um, you can tell it's just like the princess rescuing someone and I love that idea. So I don't even know too, too much about this story, but I'm excited to read it. The next book that I have for you is book four in a series that I have the first two books of and I'm enjoying and it was only a dollar. So <laughs> it is called The Immortal Realm and this is part of the Fairy Path series by Freewind Jones. Um, this is a YA fairy series. Um, I haven't read too many fairy series. I really enjoy them and it is, you know, very cheesy fantasy fairies. Girl finds out she's a long lost fairy princess, but who doesn't want to be the long lost fairy princess? Next, I did snag a copy of Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. This is the second book in the Percy Jackson series. I have yet to read any Rick Riordan books, and they are on my shelf. Um, I have The Lightning Thief and the first book of the King Chronicles as well to get to, so I just am adding this to my collection. Next, I picked up the second book in the Nancy Drew series. This is Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase, and I have been collecting these particularly because of their covers. I was a huge Nancy Drew fan back in the day when I was young, and I just love, look at that. Look at how gorgeous that is. Look at the staircase spiraling into the door way back there. And these are just such gorgeous ones. So I now have books one, two, three, and four, and I plan on collecting as many of these covers as they've made just because they're gorgeous. And as anyone who reads Nancy Drew knows, there's like a million Nancy Drew books but I'm going to be collecting as many as they made in these covers, so pretty. So going along with books I've already read, I, I just collected three more for the Keisha Ross series by Amelia at Water Rose, I can never say her name, and these have gorgeous cover art. So I got Falcon Dance, look at that, really lovely, and this is I think book three in the series. Wolf Cry, which is book four, such pretty color, like just really gorgeous, and the snake and the hawk on both sides. It's just lovely. It's just really pretty. And of course, Wyvern Hale. Look at that. It's lovely. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like City of Bones, but with a face. Um, it's really, really beautiful. And I just really liked the artwork. This series I really enjoyed back in my teens, and I plan on rereading it soon just because I miss the characters. I loved the series so much. It was probably one of my first teen series reads that I ever read, and I like Amelia Atwater Rose's writing. Next, I picked up book one of The Land of Elion. This one is called The Dark Hills Divide, and it is by Patrick Carmen. I haven't read any of the series. It's a middle grade fantasy, and it just looked really good, and it was on my clearance section at my bookstore, so yay. This one is a YA novel. This is called The Devil's Kiss. Look at that. Fancy teen covers. Um, the Devil's Kiss by... Sarwat Shada, I think is how you say the name. Um, and this one is a series, I believe, but I know really nothing else about it. Again, this was on my clearance at my bookstore, and I just thought it looked good. Uh, and sword on the cover, so yay. Next, I picked up a copy of Stork by Wendy Delsol. I do not know anything really about this book. It's got like a girl kind of discovers a family secret and like ancient magic, and it sounds kind of like 
something I would like to read. So it was again on sale for a dollar. Next, I picked up a copy of Selkie Girl. This one is by Lori Brooks, and it is what it looks like. It's a Selkie novel. I really enjoy Selkie and mermaid novels, and this one I actually realized I already had a copy of, which I hadn't read yet, but I didn't recognize it because the covers are, like, vastly different. I mean, look at the beautiful watercoloriness on this cover. So, needless to say, I will be replacing that paperback version with this lovely. And hopefully reading it soon so that I won't accidentally buy another copy of something I already own. I also picked up Fred Astaire's autobiography called Steps in Time. And this one I mostly picked up because I love Fred Astaire. I have no idea how well written this is or anything about it. But I just love old movies. And Fred Astaire is one of my absolute favorite old movie tap dancer actors. He's just so much fun to watch and I'm very intrigued about his life. It's kind of mysterious. He doesn't have really any movies or any documentaries made of his life. So I, when I saw this I was like, oh my gosh, there's an autobiography. Um, so I picked this up and I also picked it up partially because the year theme this month of August is um, nonfiction and biographies. So I thought I would go ahead and read this. Next, I picked up a lovely copy of The Tempest by Shakespeare. Look at that artwork. Isn't that gorgeous? And I just really enjoy this one. For those of you who aren't um, really into Shakespeare, haven't read a lot of Shakespeare, he has his comedies, his histories, his tragedies. This one kind of doesn't fall into any of them. It's kind of um, a fantasy, really. Uh, and it's really fun and lovely, and I just enjoyed the story a lot. So I couldn't pass this cover up. It was only $2. Next, I picked up the first book of Gail Carson Levine's series that's in, like, the Tinkerbell world. This is Fairy Dust and the Quest for the Egg, and I just like the Tinkerbell world. I was a huge Tinkerbell fan as a younger teen, tween, child, I mean, everything. Loved Peter Pan. I loved Tinkerbell. So when they came out with the Tinkerbell movies, I was obsessed. And so I've just been kind of collecting these as well. And then also I have nieces, and so we read them together, and it's super fun. Um, but I can't wait to go ahead and read this one. It's got some beautiful artwork. If I show you, like, even, like, the back of it, like, take a look at that, like, the egg. And then just, like, bird on the nest and Tinkerbell. The next one I picked up is also a children's book. It's a picture book and this is Barbie and the Nutcracker. Um, I was, I'm a huge fan of the Nutcracker. I love anything to do with the Nutcracker, Nutcracker retellings, Nutcracker, Barbie, everything. I just love it. And the Barbie Nutcracker, I'm going to be completely honest, freaking love that movie. Um, it is a kid's movie and I will watch it for no reason. Not for no reason, because I like it. I will watch it with no children around for my inner child. Um, it's awesome. Anyways, if you like The Nutcracker, you should watch it, <laughs> even if you don't have children. But this one is the storybook version, and they actually added some other things into the storybook that they didn't leave in the movie, or maybe they took them out for the movie. I'm not sure. But it was really lovely artwork, and I just couldn't pass it up. Look at that. Look at it. I don't care if you're a Barbie fan or not. It's just lovely. It's beautiful. The next two books that I picked up were actually coloring books. This one is the Jane Austen coloring book. It was just lovely. It's a little one. And each of these are like removable out of the book. But most of them are from like all of different books. There's like tea sets and they all have little quotes at the bottom. And I loved it. So actually my roommate, my best friend, I room with my best friend, lucky me. Um, but my best friend and I got a copy of this together so that we could go ahead and like have tea and color. So yeah. The next coloring book that I got was this pop manga coloring book and it's just so pretty. I think I'm going to actually invest in some watercolor pencils and do it that way because just the artwork, like if you can see how flowing it is, like smoky, I think that it would be perfect for watercolor. Like just some gorgeous pictures in here. Like look at that. And I can't wait to start coloring into this one. I almost colored in it like the day I brought it home and then it was like midnight so I didn't want to do that. All right, so the next one is the one I got from my Owl Crate, which you saw probably in my Owl Crate unboxing if you watched that, and that is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. It's the first book in a, in a series, I think, and I haven't read it yet. I'm so excited to read it, um, but this one is, it seems like, about a monster who wants to be human and a human who wants to be a monster. So if you want to hear more about this book, check out my Owl Crate unboxing. And if you want to know more about Owl Crate, check out my Owl Crate unboxing. Uh, but this it looks like a great read.
Next, I got two books from the Book Depository for Booktubeathon. They had this big sale going on, and then Booktubeathon got um, a coupon to go on with that. So I got two books that I've been looking at for a really long time. The first one is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I've seen this all over Booktube, and everyone's been reading it, so I thought I'd pick up a copy. It just sounded really cute and fun. The second one I picked up is Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. Look at this cover. I just love this one so much. I've seen a couple of covers of this one. And when I saw this one on Book Depository, I was like, this one's so awesome. <laughs> so I picked up this one and I cannot wait to read it. I've only read one book by Rainbow Rowell, which was Eleanor and Park. And I thoroughly loved it. And I can't wait to read more of her stuff. This is one of her adult novels. And I just can't wait to read it. And finally, last but certainly not least, drum roll please. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So I went to the midnight premiere of this book and I, the bookstore I went to was Barnes and Noble. They had a huge party going on. Um, one of the managers there is like a Harry Potter fanatic just like me and she basically set up this whole thing where we had events in every corner of the store and I actually helped the volunteer so I got to read aloud some of the Sorcerer's Stone. I got to help make rememberals. There were signs hanging from the ceiling. The music department was the borough. I'm gonna go ahead and post some pictures as well on this video so you can see just kind of how much fun I had and it was just so cool. <laughs> my July book haul. I hope you all enjoyed it and if you've read any of these books or if you have any suggestions for me please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise I will see you next time. Bye!